hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically we can uh, schedule our emails inside google app script and we will be able to now send out email addresses using google app script and for this we will be using our uh, Google Sheet, you can see all, all this data will be returned to us inside the email address. This is we have three rows out there inside of a Google Sheet. You can see name, age, and country. So all this data we will be sending it as an email address inside Google Apps Script and we will also be scheduling that email. So let, let's suppose you want to execute that code at a specified date and specified time. You can even mention it, it inside the trigger option. So inside Google Apps Script, we have a trigger option. Basically, I have basically made a trigger here. You will see that uh, if, I, if I edit this, you will see this is it will only run at this specific date and time. You can even run it as hourly timer. You can put a every hour, every minute, every second. You can send out using this trigger option. You can schedule your emails inside Google Apps Script. So I will be taking a complete example on how to send the Google Sheet data as an email address and schedule it. So for that process guys, I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website webninjadeveloper.com. So if you want the full source code of this tutorial, I will definitely recommend that you go to the description of this video and follow this blog post alongside watching this video. So let's start building this application guys. So first of all, we need to do, we need to go to uh, Google Sheet. So here we will create brand new sheet here. So just go to your uh, go to sheets here and here we will create a blank sheet and you can rename your sheet here accordingly. Let me rename this to uh, student data. So basically guys now we can have some columns here name of the student age and the subject. So we can give some names here guys. Let me rename this to name and here mark 23 and this is maths. Let me add some more entry here Adams uh, to 34 uh, signs. So we have these two, two columns out there three columns and two rows. So now what we will do guys basically we need to create a page range out there. So you need to select these rows of data that you need to send out inside the email address. So just select it using right click. So it will select and now go to the data option. And here guys we have this option called as named range. You need to create a name range out there. So it will automatically select the columns from A1 row which is A1 to C3. You will see that A1 to C3 is selected. Now you can name your range here. Let's suppose I say student data and click on done. So our range is created guys. So only these rows of data will be uh, sent to the email address. So now what we need to do, we need to go to extensions and go to app script and here we will write this code to execute to actually send out the email address. So here we just need to write the function guys. It's very simple. So let me zoom in and show to you how basically it is done. So we will write a function guys which will called as send email and which will actually send the email to the uh, gmail id. So here first of all we will say we will construct a variable student data and we will fetch all the data guys which from the spreadsheet. We will write a function here for that which is called as get data. Let me write this function and inside this function guys we will fetch all the data which is present inside the current sp spreadsheet. So for that we will first of all fetch the values and for that we will use the spreadsheet app library and inside this we will get the active spreadsheet and after this inside this we will get the sheet by its name. So get sheet by name and you can see every every data has a sheet accordingly you can see this is sheet 1. You can even add sheet 2s as well, sheet 1, sheet 2. So this is sheet 1. So we need to only focus on sheet sheet 1. And inside this we have created this range out there guys. You can see student data. So we need to get the data inside this. So we will simply say get range. This is a method. And we will put the name here which is called as student data. And inside this there is a method out there. Which that's it I think that's all. Yeah, the get values. We need to get all the values which are present inside this range. That's it. 
this is the function that's it so now this returns your object guys so now what we need to do is that we need to shift this data so values dot shift basically it removes the first element from an array and returns it so it returns let me declare uh, students here an empty array and for this values for each guys values for each this is an array and basically we have the value here so inside we will declare a student object guys this will be an empty object now we will be assigning all the values which are coming so we have three values first is a student dot a name and this will be coming through value zero and then we got the student age and this we will get using value one and then we got the student subject this we can get using the value two because indexing starts from zero that's why you can see this will be the zeroth index one two like this after getting all this information now we need to push the data inside the array so we will use the push method of javascript so this will push this object inside this array that's it now we simply need to return the we need to return the data which is return players that's it so that's all that we need to do guys so now after we get this data we need to construct a email so for this we will construct the body of the email so we will say that get email text we will define this function and here we will pass the data which is student data so now we need to construct this function guys which is get email con text and here we will get the data here inside this we will have the student data here as the argument and here we will be constructing a html5 template formatted email so for that we will be constructing a simple for each loop so student data and for each and basically for each student we have these three properties name age and subject so we will construct this text object to be like this text plus and here we will construct the embed the name and then we will insert a new line character so this is a new line character this will coming on new line player dot h again we will insert a new line character and then we will have the player country that's it so some more new line you can add this character here like this that's all that you need to do so simply close this and now we have constructed this text here guys so now we can simply return from this function return text that's it so now we have constructed the body of the email guys so now we can use simply the mail app and we can send the email address send email we can use this function and here we can provide the options two option will be the email address to which we are sending it so we are sending to this email address let's suppose this one you can even add multiple email addresses as well just put a comma here and you can add two email addresses let me add two one so you can just add multiple emails as well after put a comma and now we need to put the subject field subject will be simply player sorry student data and then we have got the body so body is equal to body that we have constructed that's it guys so we have now written this google app script which will actually first of all extract the data from the spreadsheet whichever data is present and then it will construct the uh, custom template html template for the email and then it will automatically send to these two email addresses which i mentioned so now we need to simply save the project and it will save this project so let me run this for normally guys if i run if i run it normally click on run option so as soon as you run this you will need to first of all grant the permission for using the spreadsheet and the mail app so it will take some time if you run it for the very first time but subsequently it will not take some more time so you need to review permissions you need to select your account and then you need to go to advance and grant the access so you can see 
Google Sheet access and send email access. Simply click allow. And as soon as you click allow guys, now your authorization is completed or execution started and it is saying players is not defined. Uh, where uh, I think 31 line. Okay, okay. So this needs to be student. Sorry. So student start push and this needs to be student, not player. And here also, this needs to be students. So just make sure that you not spell it wrong. So now if you click again run, it will run your function guys. So it will take some time. Execution started again at line number 15. Sorry, I have this needs to be student. Student. <laughs> student and student. And this needs to be subject, not country. So that's all guys. Now if you save your project and uh, now run this project here. Execution started, execution completed. Now if I check guys, go to my email address. You will now see a email address will be there. Student data subject is there. If you open this, you will see your custom HTML template of email. You can see marks 23 maths Adams 24 science. So whatever data is present inside your Google spreadsheet is mailed here automatically. So now if I check the second one, which is this one here also, if I open Gmail, you will see a email address will be received here also. If you see student data. So automatically it can uh, send it to multiple people. You just need to put a comma. And now we will make sure guys, we will schedule this email. So scheduling is very important. Let's suppose you don't need to manually click this run button every time you want to run the script. You can even put a trigger option also. So there is a triggers option inside Google Apps Script. Simply go to this option. And here you can add a trigger. Simply click this button. And here basically we can simply say we need to run this function here, which is send email. And this head will be the same here. And the event source, this needs to be important. You need to select here time driven and select time of. So here we can even every minute you can even send this email or every hour as well, every day as well. You can select the time of day at which time you need to send out. You can even customize this accordingly. Weekly, you can even say which day of week you need to send out every Tuesday or every like this also and uh, every monthly also at which day of month you need to send out this email and if you want to customize this specific date and time you can even write this specific date as this format 2022 uh, today's date is 27 sorry month is 11 27 and then you need to write the time so current time is 5 53 a.m let me send this to 555 let me select this so this needs to be zero so now if i click the save option guys so whenever the clock reaches 555 in one minute time you will see automatically the email will be sent let me make some modification here let me add the third row so now we have added the third row as well but this row will not be added because we have put a range here. That's why this row is will not be there inside it. Let me add this row. Only this these rows which we have selected inside the date range will be mailed. Apart from that, no no else row will be there. So this is the advantage of using ranges. So you can see it is 554 here. So automatically, whenever the time reaches 555. <laughs> automatically the email will be sent so now the time is exactly 555 so just wait it will automatically the email will automatically get received so just wait here so 555 <coughs> So this is basically a time based trigger option and it will execute this function at the specific time that you have. You can see we have put this time here 555. So you can see 
this email is received here at 5.55 and if I check this email address you can see student data 5.55 am so you can schedule your email guys you like this you can see that basically you can see the data is received here you can see 23 maths Adams 34 science so in this way guys you can uh, schedule your emails using google app script based upon a specific date and time and you can use their google sheet data so thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit that like button and also go to the description of this video to get all the source code and i will be seeing you in the next video